Okay, so today's video we're gonna be doing another unboxing and this one is Glossy Box. This actually came pretty early, but I was out of town. So I was really bummed because I was like, the one time this box comes early, I am out of town. Ugh, it sucks. But as you all know, I do tons of unboxings here on my channel, so I am so excited to see what I got in my Glossy Box this month. So far, every box this month has been amazing, so I'm really excited to see what I got in my Glossy Box. But before we get into this unboxing, if you're brand new here to my channel, hello, welcome, my name is Madison. Feel free to subscribe right here. That way you get notified for future videos, future unboxings, and many other types of videos as well. So now let's go ahead and see what I got in my Glossy Box. Alrighty then, let's see how oh right here huh Ooh, snazzy look at this glossy boss sun kiss this looks like it's gonna be very beachy and summery themed this is nice oh my gosh you guys check it how they did their card it's a whole booklet so you come in here you open it up there's this little postcard right here kind of talking about the box and you have all the products here ways to use them and descriptions and prices everything this is super, super nice. Holy moly, like, <laughs> Glossy Box just slayed everyone's card this month, wow. Let's open this up and see what I got. Okay, this is one thing I was so excited for this month from the last box, because I saw this on my card saying like, oh, this is what you're gonna be getting next month. I love that they did that because it made me so much more excited for this box. So the first thing that I got is the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. This is a cleansing oil. I am so excited. I have been dying to try this out. I am so bummed though because I can't try this out now because I have lash extensions and you can't use oil on lash extensions. As soon as I get done with my lash extensions, you guys, I'm definitely gonna try this out. I've heard amazing things about this. So in here in our little booklet here, it is the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off Cleansing Oil Waterproof Mascara Dissolver. So it's perfect for waterproof mascara and the full size retails for $17. Alrighty, so next up is what I'm hoping. I kind of glanced down. I'm like, I'm hoping it's a hand cream. Please be a hand cream. I'm gonna be so bummed out if it's not a hand cream. But this is what I got. I have, oh no, it's not a hand cream. It's a late April Soleil after sun lotion. So this is an after sun lotion and I'm already loving this right now. I'm seeing this paraben and silicone free. Yes, I hate products that have silicone in it because my skin hates silicone. So, I'm kind of bummed out it's not a hand cream, but hey, it's an after sun lotion. I definitely could have used this out at the river because we just got back from the river and Vegas and oh my goodness, you guys, it was so hot, but we're actually gonna be heading back out there for Labor Day weekend, which I'm super excited about. So I will definitely be bringing this with me because when I'm at home, I'm never in the sun ever. Like, I mean, look at how pale I am, you guys. I'm like super pale, but this looks really nice. Let's smell this real quick. Oh my God, this smells so good. It smells like tanning lotion and a little bit of coconut. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, just rubbing into my skin right now. It's a very cooling like after effect. Like you feel just very like, it's just very like refreshing and cooling to the skin. So definitely think this would be a great after sun lotion. I'm super excited about this. Definitely gonna be bringing that to the river. I have a few things that I need to be bringing to the river because I have a bunch of like face sunscreens too that I totally forgot to bring out there. So I'm gonna be making like a little bag here shortly. All right, so in the little bucket it says that this post sun skin needs a healthy dose of hydration enriched in Monai. I think I said that right, Monai. I would be so happy if I pronounced that correctly. Which are tiara flower petals that have been soaked in coconut oil. There's the coconut that I smelled. This after sun milk calms, nourishes, and protects skin that has been weakened after sun exposure. So it says that this retails for $12, and I believe this is full size. All right, so next up in my box, I have the Wella Professionals Oil Reflections Smoothing Oil, Smoothing Oil, that's it. Like I just felt like I was making it very climactic and then it was very anticlimactic because I was expecting more there, but no. This is a, basically an oil. I believe this has got to be for your hair. It does not say what it is for. It just has ingredients on the back. So let's go ahead and go to the card. <laughs> So this is one fluid ounce and it says that this retails for $20. So this little baby right here retails for $20. Wow. This is a multi-sensorial hair oil spray with macadamia seed oil, avocado oil, and vitamin E, known as a natural antioxidant, instantly reveals the beautiful reflections of natural or colored hair with a lightweight technology that makes hair feel incredible. 
Ooh, so it's going to condition the style just with a few drops to damp hair. So I am really excited to try this out. I want to smell it. I've been like really into smelling everything this month on all the boxes. Ooh, it smells good. Ooh, it does smell good. Ooh, that's nice. All right, so super excited about that. I love getting new hair stuff to try out. Oh my God, this looks so cute. Okay, so next up in my box, I got this Trifle Cosmetics and it's got a little pug on the front of it. How cute is that? This has got to be like a chapstick or something. Trifle Cosmetics Lip Parfait. All right, we got to open this up. Let's open this up because this is so stinking cute. I wish it was a Maltese though. I'm being very biased because I like my Maltese's, my little Elsa, but oh my God, this is so stinking cute. <gasps> Let's see. Oh my God, I thought this might be like a lip balm because it's like the cardboard, like, you know, um, packaging. But this is actually a lipstick and this is freaking pretty. Oh my goodness, check out that lipstick right there. Wow, that's really, really pretty. Ooh, okay, so this is a sheer lipstick, but it's a really pretty warm, rosy nude. Check that out. It is more on the sheer side, so it's not like super opaque, but it looks like it's gonna be really moisturizing, which looks really, really nice. Oh my gosh, that is such a pretty color. This is something that I would put in my purse and just have on the go, just to kind of add like a light flush to the lips, you know, just to bring them to life, but keep them moisturized at the same time. And plus, I just cannot get over the pug on the front of this. This is so sinking cute. It's all like, it's got little like donuts and little dog bones and paw prints. That is so cute. I wanna read what it says. So first off, it says that this retails for $19. I've never even heard of Trouble Cosmetics, so that's really cool. And it says wrapped in adorable packaging, yes, and infused cocoa butter, that's where you're getting like that moisturizing feeling from. This 100% cruelty-free lipstick keeps the lips plumped and glowing with its intense color pigments. So it's like a lip plumper, I guess. Ooh, ooh, that's so nice. I am so happy I got this little guy. He is so cute, aw, I like that. All right, so next up in my box, I got the Borghese. Well, geese, usually what I notice is that I always mispronounce French words. So I don't know if this is French or not, but it's something. It's bourguese. I don't know. Fango body refining polish. So this is an exfoliant. So it's just like a body polish. Oh, this will be really nice to use. Like say if you're doing some self tanning, you could do this around your ankles and around your wrists and everything. So that way the self tanner doesn't really build up and get splotchy, but let's see. Ooh, oh my God, this smells so good. Wow, wow, this is like really exfoliating. That's really, really nice. Ooh, I cannot get over, oh, I got, look at that. I got all that stuck underneath my nail now. Dang it, way to go, Madison. I don't even know how to explain the smell like it smells like a spa, like you go into a spa and it's just got that really nice, relaxing smell to it. It smells really, really good. Wow, okay. Let's see how much that retails for. All right, so in this box, you'll be receiving one of them. So I received the body polisher in here, but there's other things that you could have received. You could have received a, ooh, you could have received a mud mask. I would have liked the mud mask. But although I'm really excited about that body polisher because it smells really, really good. You could receive a brightening mask. You could also receive another active mud for face. Oh, this is so cool. So this body refining polish retails for $49. And this is only a sample size because this size is 0.5 ounces and the full size is eight ounces. So that is awesome though. This smells really, really good. I really like this. All right, so the last thing that I got in my box are these Invisi Bobble, the Traceless Hair Ring. I actually had a bunch of these sent to me through PR, and I haven't really tried them in my hair. My sister tried them. She didn't really like them. They just felt weird to her. So I don't really know what I feel about these because I haven't tried it. You know what? Let's just go ahead and give this a go, shall we? Let's try. Hey, it really holds my hair in there. Just looks kind of funky in the ponytail, but it holds my hair in there really well. And I think what it's supposed to do is it's not supposed to leave like any, like, you know, how you get those dents in your hair if you've had your hair in a ponytail. 
But let's go ahead and see. And by the way, I'm wearing like not the right bra for this. I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing a bralette just because it's really comfortable. So it says that this little set right here retails for $8 and there's nothing worse than ripping out your hair with an elastic or getting a headache from a tight hair band. This knight in a spiral armor allows the hair to be held tightly without leaving a kink or head full of knots. I don't know if you guys saw recently I posted on Snapchat of my hair tie literally ripping out chunks of my hair like oh my god that hair tie played me so bad played me so bad. I had it sitting on my sink and my sister came over while I was packing because I was getting ready to leave. And she's like, oh my God, what the hell happened to your hair? She saw the hairband and she was just like, you literally ripped out like a chunk of your hair. I was like, I know that thing would not get out of my hair. I go, I had to run it underneath the water and then like pull because it would not get out. It was horrible. But this right here, I definitely agree. It's not feeling like it's too tight in my head. It's not giving me a headache. Let's see how it is taking it out. Ooh, it came out really nicely. And I don't see any any kinks in it really. Do you guys see any kinks? I don't really see any kinks. But yeah, I don't know why my sister didn't really like it because I haven't used it yet. I just remember when she came over, she saw on there and she grabbed it and she put it in her hair and she didn't really like it. But I enjoyed it. I think it was pretty awesome. I think it held back my hair just fine and it didn't hurt and it didn't hurt while pulling it out. And I didn't pull out a chunk of hair with it too, which is plus but yeah so now I just have some more to add to the collection <laughs> all right so that is everything I got in my glossy box this month oh my goodness I think glossy box did an amazing job every single subscription box this month I think did a great job besides birchbox birchbox I was kind of on the fence with and a lot of you guys were talking about how your eyeshadows with manic Dara came shattered too so I wasn't the only one like a ton of people commented on that video saying that theirs came shattered so that's a really big bummer right there but a lot of you were also commenting that if your eyeshadow came shattered you just contact them and they'll send you a new one and I even had someone even comment saying that they sent me a new one that was broken yet again so that's such a big bummer so Birchbox was kind of it this month but everything else this month was awesome I am still waiting for my Sephora play right now so I'm super excited for that Birchbox didn't do that great, but my Ipsy bag did amazing, which I was really excited about because Ipsy has been kind of struggling there for a while, but lately I've noticed they're really stepping up their game. So Ipsy did awesome. BoxyCharm slayed it like it always does, and then now Glossybox did a great job. So I am super excited for all these products. I'm really excited about this little pug lipstick right here. That is really cute. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Glossybox unboxing. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!